about a, a young team like yours gutting this one out when there's a lot of adversity thrown your way? Yeah, that's a tough game. You know, we're at the end of a road trip. We've been on the road for a little bit now, early start time. And then, um, you know, playing against a team that is missing their main guys. And these are motivated NBA players that have something to prove. And they, you know, they know their opportunities aren't endless. So they're going to bring a lot of juice. We knew that coming in. They did. They didn't disappoint. Uh, and I thought, you know, we gritted, we gutted it out. You know, we did what we needed to do, especially down the stretch, strung some stops together late, uh, which was big. I thought our physicality the last four or five minutes of the game was really, really good. Yeah, I wanted to ask you about just some of the things, in addition to physicality, anything um, execution-wise on your defense from closeouts or box outs that they didn't really like there late. Uh, I mean, late we were doing a lot of switching. We went small. Uh, and so it came down to individual D and Shell and then, you know, five guys on the glass because they had Eubanks out there and we we didn't have a big. So we got some timely rebounds, loose balls, uh, and timely stops, like I said. We had our chest on them down the stretch, forced a couple turnovers. Uh, I thought that group, you know, the last eight minutes of the game and then the closing group, those guys really uh, were gritty. Yeah, I just want to ask you about the catch and shoot three for Josh on the right wing. It just seemed like such a, a seamless connection there on the shake at Gowden and what you saw and how that taken from Capella. Yeah, I mean, big shot, obviously. Uh, against the Lakers the other night, we had a similar play. Um, Shea had it. They were loaded at the elbow. He threw it to Josh. Josh missed. Uh, so I think it's encouraging uh, and a good investment in the team when same situation happens. Another you know critical situation. I think we might have been up one or two. Uh, and Shea threw it again. And Josh stepped into it with confidence and knocked it down. They threw that zone at you guys just throughout the night. What did you think of the way you guys were able to kind of crack that as the game went on? Um, early, it didn't look great, uh, but we missed a lot of open shots. Um, you know, I thought our attacks were pretty good. You know, we were generating good looks, but um, that's what zone does to you. You know, it creates um, some shooting variance. Uh, we didn't shoot well early, and then we got it going. You know, we ended up shooting obviously well for the game. Isaiah had a lot to do with that, but I thought we just kind of stuck with it. And the, the second chance points, the fast break points, the points off their turnovers, all above 20 for you guys tonight. As you're just assessing the game, what does that indicate to you about this performance? Uh, good activity, you know, just good activity, good hands. Um, you know, we had some timely offensive rebounds. And like I said, you know, it wasn't a pretty game by any stretch. It wasn't our best game. But given the circumstances, um, it required a level of resilience and toughness out of our team. And I thought we had that in order to win the game. Mark, did you think this game was – reminiscent of kind of where you guys were in the last two seasons when you were outmanned on some nights playing a bunch of young guys and um, kind of give what everyone recognizes as, as a better team a, a run for its money? Um, every season is different. Every team is different. So I don't want to compare. I just know, um, even going back to coaching in the G League, uh, you know, when guys that don't have regular opportunities especially when they've learned that they're not getting regular opportunities and then they get an opportunity, uh, the level of motivation uh, is high. And that's the circumstance uh, that this team's in right now. You know, they've got a lot of guys out and these guys are getting opportunities. And when that happens, you know, guys are going to step up and they're going to play really hard and they're going to they're gonna play really aggressively. They're going to let it all fly with nothing to lose. And that's what they did. You know, it's a tough psychology. What did you see from Shea sort of as he was gutting it out there and seemed to be limping pretty badly? Uh, I mean, he got it out. He's obviously, you know, that was it was a he, – he had some weight on the ankle, mm -hmm. um, so he's not 100%, but uh, was obviously good enough to go back. You know, Donnie took a look at him and, and knew pretty quickly he could go back in. Um, the biggest thing was, like, not letting him sit too long, you know, getting him back out there, keeping it moving. Uh, and he did a great job. You know, I thought he had some big plays defensively down the stretch. He had the pass to Josh. Um, you know, he was part of that group. That group did a great job closing the game. And the last one for me, Lou really struggled around the rim tonight. Made the big defensive play late. What would you see? What did you see from him offensively, or kind of what what are you seeing as he tries to tries to get going, specifically finishing around? The rim? Um, I mean, obviously, he wasn't great tonight offensively. It wasn't his best game. Um, you know, took him out early in the third and then went back to him, you know, pretty early in the fourth. And I thought his last stint was his best stint. I thought that's when he played uh, closest to his identity. He had great physicality on the defensive end of the floor. Still wasn't, um, 
you know, finishing great. You know, he didn't shoot it great tonight, obviously, but I thought he was trying to make the right plays during that stint, which is all you can ask for. You just got to double down on that. Uh, every player, every team, you know, especially when things aren't going well, you got to rely on your identity. I thought he did that down the stretch of the game. Yeah, I mean, obviously we knew that they weren't going to have their main, you know, main five guys, I guess. Yeah. Um, so we knew that other guys were going to have opportunity. It was going to be a different style of basketball to what we've, you know, seen in the past. Um, you know, with guys getting opportunity that usually en energy levels are high. Um, you know, it's a bit more loose, I guess, the way they play. But uh, we knew they're they're a talented team. You know, regardless of who's out there. Um, and this was one we couldn't take lightly. Uh, an important win, and I think um, you know we started off not the way we wanted to, but um, cleaned some things up as we went. And you know, it wasn't the prettiest game, but. Uh, this part of the season, you take you know you take every win you get. In that fourth quarter, you held them to just 18 points defensively. What what did you feel out there? What was kind of the focus for you? Yeah, um, that was what won us the game. I think uh, we forced them to take a lot of tough shots. Um, you know, threes. You know, when they were at the rim, they were all contested shots. Uh, we rebounded really well. I don't think we gave up many second chance points in that in that fourth quarter. So. Um, limited them to one shot, uh, one tough shot, I think, for a lot of the time. Uh, and then we went, when we went small, we could switch one through five. Um, guys were ready to rotate. So our defense was really good um, down the stretch. But, um, yeah, I guess, you know, at this time of the year, that de the defensive end has to be a priority. Um, and I think tonight it wasn't early on for us, but, um, you know, we gave up 62 in the first half, which is just way too many for, for any team. And uh, we really buckled down, you know, in that fourth quarter. They were playing a zone for you guys just throughout the night. What was key in kind of cracking that and making sure you guys got good looks? Just moving the ball. I um, mean, you can't be stagnant against the zone. Uh, finding, you know, the middle. We, we hit the middle guy a few times, and that forces the zone to, you know, collapse and spray out the shooters. Um, when, we, when we, you know, were penetrating, um, we could get easy looks. Guys were cutting, getting to the rim. So there was different options we were, we were looking at. But um, I think for the most part, we moved the ball well. Um, guys were knocking down shots. And I think, you know, offense wasn't the problem early on. It was the defensive end that we struggled with. Josh, in, in years past, in the last couple of years, you know, if this team didn't necessarily have its A game on either end of the floor, it, it might be kind of a long night. What have you all learned about yourselves as a team about just the NBA game to be able to fight through that and, and be able to, to get back to yourselves at some point in the game? Yeah, uh, well, I think we've started to learn that it's, you know, it's a 48-minute game. Uh, I think early on, you know, even last year, we have a bad stretch. Sometimes that can you know, spiral out a little bit longer than, than what it has this year. And I think we've done a much better job of um, you know, recognizing when um, a team's going on a run and just being able to, you know, break that momentum with, um, you know, maybe whether that's slowing the game down or getting the defensive rebound or whatever the case may be, um, we figured out ways, you know, how to how to cut the momentum and, um, you know, get rid of, um, you know, any, you know, I guess any run that that team's going on. And I think, uh, as I said last year, those things, it can 10 point lead, can blow up to 20, can, can keep going. But this year we've learned to, we've cut into things slowly. Um, you can't do it only one possession. Uh, and we've learned that, um, you, and that you gain that, you know, with experience in the more games you play. But um, I think this team's, you know, done a really impressive job of um, when teams make their runs, you know, not flinching, knowing that, you know, it's gonna, it's gonna swing back in our way, and just, uh, you know, sticking with it for, for 48 minutes. You, even up at the perimeter, sometimes you'll, you'll play a bit with your back to the basket. You, you use that tonight to kind of pretend to, to hand the ball off, and then you got straight downhill. Can you tell me about maybe some of the advantages of the way that you're able to like use your side, use your body to maybe. Um, trick the defense into like what you're, what you're trying to do? Yeah, um, I guess, you know, at the top of the game, it was a fake handoff. Uh, it wasn't a drawn up play, just a read. And um, I saw my guy jumped out a little bit earlier, so I was able to, you know, uh, split the middle and get downhill. But, um, you know, typically, um, you know, if I've got a smaller guy on me, especially, I'll try and, you know, use my size to my advantage, I think. Um, you know, playing my back to the basket. Um, I'm a lot bigger than a lot of guys that are, that are guarding me, so trying to use that to my advantage, but um, just trying to make the right reads, you know, whether I'm facing up, uh, you know, got it on the elbow, the block, wherever it is, I'm trying to make reads and, um, you know, make the right one and hopefully, um, you know, force the defense to collapse and make a decision and then, um, you know, hit whoever's open or, you know, in that instance, get downhill and get on the rim. Josh, you went three to five from three, hit that big one late. Just have that feel to, to get going and how do you continue to feel um, what would that be shot? Yeah, um, I mean, just just staying confident in it. Um, you know, it was it was down the stretch, and we knew uh, that we were going to probably send bodies at Shea. That he, you know, he had two, three guys on him, uh, especially when he caught it on the block. Um, so, kickouts are going to be available. Um, you know, he was unselfish in that instance, and you know, hit me for a three. And just being ready to catch a shoot, I think, in those moments is important because uh, if the defense rotates, you know, we've got numbers on the backside. So, being really ready to to make a play, whether that's shoot or pass. Um, you know, in that instance, they didn't really close out, so. I uh, was able to make the shot. And then you mentioned like every win at this point in the year is a big win. Can you guys sort of like 
feel the gravity of it on a night-to-night -night basis with so few games left and knowing that can send you up or down in the standings? Yeah, I mean, of course, we all know, you know, what's at stake at this end of the season. Um, but as I said, you know, there's still six or seven games left, and that can really, you know, change in, in those times. So Nola can do far ahead, um, taking it one night at a time. And, you know, we know coming into the next three games, we're playing, you know, similar teams to this. Uh, their main guys probably won't be out there. Um, they're going to be, you know, playing a loose brand of, of basketball. So, um, you know, not taking these teams lightly. Um, because it's the NBA, you know, everybody's talented. Everyone, anyone can win on any given night. So um, we've got to come ready to play, you know, Tuesday. Um, because, yeah, as I said, these these last six, seven games are obviously very important. But um, not looking too far ahead and just, you know, taking it one game at a time. Did it feel any different, though? You guys have been in countless close games all year long. But with the game on the line, three, four minutes to go on their home court, did it feel different this time, a little more tense? Yeah, um, I guess a little bit. Um, you know, the crowd started getting into it. They went on that run. Um, but as I said, we never panicked uh, down the stretch. You know, we, we maintained composure, uh, executed both ends of the floor. And once we took control of the game, uh, you know, with a couple minutes left, I was confident in, in what our guys could do down the stretch. Uh, executed offensively, got good looks, you know, forced them into a lot of tough shots, uh, missed baskets. So, uh, you know, we, we never got rattled down the stretch. You know, they made that run. They cut the game really close. But, um, you know, I was always confident we could, we could hold on to that one. Did what you had to do and, and gutted it off. Yeah, um, you know, ugly wins are wins. Um, I think that last like seven minute stretch was was good for us, and the kind of like last like five minutes of the first half. Uh, I thought we had really good defensive stands, and I think you know, coach kind of talks about you know one play can win a game, and I thought we that was kind of that it tonight. The the stretches that you're talking about, like, do you think at the beginning of the season? If you had if you had a performance like that where you just didn't kind of have your A game, that you could have gotten to that those levels by by the end of the second quarter, by the end of the fourth quarter, the way that you did tonight, or is that something that's grown just within the unit over the course of the season? Um, I wouldn't say we wouldn't have been able to do it in the beginning of the season, but I think we are the way we're doing it now. Uh, you know, it's a lot more calm in our huddles. Um, I think guys are kind of understanding being in that situation so much that we're a lot more comfortable in it. Uh, you know, I never felt like there was panic. Or you know, kind of like an unsure kind of vibe in our kind of in our huddles. I mean, so yeah, I think we're kind of just improving in that. And like I said, we've been in that situation so much this year that I think everybody's kind of accepted that that's just kind of how the NBA is, and you know, we can make runs as well. Tonight, you um, broke the OKC rookie record for steals and blocks combined um, in a season. Uh, just you got onto the floor as a as a college kid as a, a on, on defense. Just mm -hmm. what do you think about the, the way that that's been such a huge part of your game this season? I think a lot of times in life, things like that kind of set themselves up for something later. Um, so I think it's kind of full circle how that was how I got on the court, like you said, to play at Santa Clara, and that's kind of how I got on the court here. And obviously, I'm taking a lot more of an offensive role than I did my freshman year of college. But um, yeah, I think just stuff like that. You know, being in school for that long, you know, three years, I think kind of prepared me for a lot of this stuff coming in the NBA. So, yeah, so that's pretty cool that that's full circle. Speaking of your offense, when Isaiah got trapped on the baseline there, just does instinct for you to just cut down the middle of the lane and try to give him some relief there? Yeah, I think for everybody else kind of watching, uh, me and Zay actually kind of made eye contact on his drive. Um, yeah, so I kind of just waited for my man to kind of turn around and kind of gave like a fake cut and then just kind of went down the lane and you know I was able to finish. It seemed like there were just like a lot of scrappy plays tonight, just a lot of gutsy plays, the, the points off turnovers, the second chance points, just how critical were those plays for you guys tonight? Yeah, I think just how long the road trip was and kind of everything leading into that is kind of what it came down to tonight. Like you said, it was scrappy. Um, I thought we did a good job of getting the loose balls. Um, and obviously, you know, to end a end a road trip, it's easy to kind of fall into the trap of you know letting them get it. But I thought we did a good job of fighting for them, and you know, we end up even getting the steal at the end of the game that kind of sealed it. So just little stuff, little plays. You know, every play kind of matters, especially coming down in a march where everybody's kind of fighting for seeding. I thought we did a good job kind of making those plays. Jalen, what was it like going back and forth with another rookie and Shaden Sharp? Oh, it's fun. Um, it's cool to see him kind of get a lot of burn now and. You know, I've seen him play before, just, you know, obviously he went to high school in Arizona, so I'd seen him play. Um, so, yeah, it's always cool to go up against a fellow rookie, um, him, uh, Jabari Walker as well. Uh, we're all pretty cool, so it's always fun to kind of go out there and, you know, you go through the pre-draft process. And for me, like, Bari was my roommate uh, during the pre-draft. So it's always cool to kind of go up and see how far we've come, and it's only been like eight months. So, And Shaden played really well tonight, so 
salute to him. But yeah, it was it's always fun to kind of play against somebody that's going through the same stuff you are. The the kind of guttiness. What what was the feeling like to to finish this one out and do what you guys needed to do here to close the road trip? Yeah, um, felt good. Um, obviously, the night wasn't going our way for the most part. Um, hats off to them. They played really well. Um, they played the right way. Um, it was fun tonight playing against them. Um, I know a couple guys on their team, and they played well, so it was cool. Um, but most importantly, we won the game, and we're good. There's a lot of times in the NBA where guys after a game will say, well, we, we just didn't have it tonight. But you, you all maybe didn't have it to start this game. How were you guys able to kind of just get to your identity, get to what you needed to get to um, to come up with the win? Yeah, we just um, chipped away. Um, when it came down to it, we got stops, um, especially late in the fourth. We got stops and we rebounded. Um, and I, we know that when we do, we get stops and rebound, that we're pretty good and can play with anybody and beat anybody in the league. Mark had mentioned that you had a similar, you gave Josh a similar look a couple nights ago in LA for that catch and shoot three. He didn't make it. Same situation tonight, and he, and he buries it. Just uh, your thoughts on. Um, being so consistent with each other as, as teammates, as an entire team, and continuing to manufacture those looks for each other even after misses. Yeah, um, I see Josh puts in the work every day um, on that exact same shot, so it makes it easy to trust him. Um, when, when your teammates put in the work and they want to be good and they want to win games and they have the right intentions, it's easy to go out there, play for them, trust them, and, and kind of enjoy the wins and losses together. What does it say just about Lou? Just didn't have his night offensively, mm -hmm. but came up with the, the biggest steal and, and layup of the game. Just his defense seems to just always be there, regardless of his offense. Yeah, um, Lou knows what he hangs his hat on every night. He knows what what why he's in the NBA. Um, now his offense is caught up, and he's become a, a two way player for sure. Um, but but Lou Lou knows what he does every night, what he brings to the team, and how he helps us win games. It, it felt like there were just a ton of scrappy sort of plays tonight, whether it was the second chance, like you mentioned, or just trying to get a turnover here and there. And it seemed like everybody was chipping in on that. Did you feel that out there on the floor for you guys? Yeah. Um, especially the way they were playing. Um, we kind of felt that from the jump it was going to be a chippy game. Yeah. Uh, we, we, those 50-50 possessions, loose balls, offensive rebounds, defensive rebounds. Um, Things we can control, we like to take care of. Um, and we did enough of it tonight. Mm -hmm. Shay, can you tell us what happened when you, you got hurt there and, and then what it was like and what was going through your mind as, as you got it out to, to finish the game? Um, I rolled my ankle late in the third. Um, I was on fire at first, and then I just tried to like shake it off, play through it a little bit. My adrenaline carried me um, to the end of the, end of the third. Um, and then as soon as I came back out, I just wanted to tape it up and keep moving so that I was good to, to finish the game. And then is, uh, is Shade and Sharp one of those guys that, that you mm -hmm. said you knew? Mm -hmm. You said you knew, like, yeah. you know a couple of guys on their team. Mm -hmm. well, well, he, he had a career high tonight. Right. Um, obviously, kind of working through things in his rookie season. What, what's standing out about kind of what he's done? Yeah, he's got tools. Um, he's got God-given talents um, that you can't teach for sure. Um, so young, this guy's a living for him. Um, and he's got good bets over there, obviously, that'll make sure he's doing the right things to propel his career. Um, I'm excited for his future.